Mrs. Hell is a, a very sweet 84-year-old lady. Uh, came in uh, because she had actually developed crushing chest pain the night before. I got the choking right in here. And I called my daughter, she lives right across in front of me. And I said, I got to go to the hospital. And when I got there, he said, you had a heart attack. We did the uh, preliminary workup and it showed that she was indeed having a myocardial infarction. And we needed to get in there pretty quickly. Being part of Cardio Team 1 and being available on site, we took her the same day. One of the um, advantages of being on Cardio Team 1 is the avail uh, availability of uh, uh, an interventional cardiologist 24 hours around the clock. Uh, that means that uh, uh, the care that is being delivered is delivered in a very speedy manner, number one. Number two, it also helps um, in, in, in sort of uh, promoting quick resolution of problems. We started taking some pictures and it became, uh, initially the, the, the earlier pictures were sort of suggestive that, that the blockage she had potentially could be dealt with with the traditional way of using ballooning and stenting. However, as we went through the procedure, it became very obvious that we were dealing with a, a monstrosity of calcium deposition in her proximal LED. Usually, um, heart attacks, when they form, that's because of a, of a soft plaque that ruptures within the artery and we easily can get in there. However, we had a lot of difficulty even advancing a wire. Uh, let alone to get in a very small balloon. Uh, we did a small balloon inflation and noted that the balloon was not expanding and immediately we knew what we were up against. This entire artery was basically shutting down because of a, uh, a severely, severely calcified lesion that was in danger of shutting the whole thing and we knew that traditional ways of doing this were not going to work. I was the first operator on the first FDA approved case of uh, the CSI orbital atherectomy device and what it is, it's basically a new FDA approved device that uh, uh, help us tackle severely calcified blockages in the heart. You see the challenge with dealing with these blockages is that if you are to approach them the traditional way, they're notoriously known to uh, uh, lead to a lot of complications. The good thing about th this new device is that it's very easy to use. It's uh, very, uh, you know, call, I like to call it plug and play. Uh, kind of technology um, and actually in some bench testing it's shown a lot of promise in terms of safety and efficacy and very effective device. The attractiveness of, of doing this percutaneously is that uh, we're dealing really with an 84 year old a very delicate lady, uh, um, obviously with a lot of comorbidities and subjecting her to open heart surgery definitely comes with uh, some significant chances of developing complications. And he said, you came out real good. And he said, you know what? He said, you're the oldest person that I ever did that to. So he said, uh, all the rest of the people that I ran stints through, they were younger than you. And he said, you made history. <laughs> Ms. Hill has followed up with me in the clinic uh, twice. I told him that I haven't had a minute's problem, none whatsoever, since I've been, you know, home from the hospital. Uh, she's been doing fantastically well. She's back to her gardening, all of her favorite activities. But once I had that operation, it looked like I got more energy and I can't stop. And overall, her level of, uh, level of activity and her, her level of, of, of exercise has increased. And it's understandable considering how much of her myocardium was really at risk and how much uh, of her overall cardiac function was compromised. And with, uh, with giving her a four millimeter uh, artery in the uh, most important artery that supplies anywhere between 40 and 50% of the heart muscle, the benefit that she gains is tremendous. This very high risk, high profile case was performed at Sinai Grace. This is definitely a great resource for the community to know that we're doing these very high risk cases here uh, and we're able to have the proper support and care that they need. 
So far, uh, our results have been fantastic. We have not had a single complication, uh, and our success rate has been close to 100%.